for you going into this, were there stories that you wanted James to tell that you that you couldn't get to or that you just didn't have time with so much going on? This is a packed movie. There's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Was there anything that you really wanted to tell in your when when you made the transition to film? I was on the set, you mm -hmm. know, and I didn't really have it, any any corrections or changes. So I don't remember you yeah. have asked. No, I, I think, yeah, that, that, that in a big part is due to the writers, uh, mm -hmm. the Hayes brothers, um, just really doing their homework and doing a lot of research. Mm -hmm. um, when they started writing the script, they were on the phone every day with Lorraine. Mm -hmm. and, they uh, were. You know, just p nice. picking her brains and, you know, and just basically trying to get to know who she is. And, and I think that is very important in bringing across the authenticity of, uh, of the world that Lorraine uh, lives in. And, uh, and I, think, uh, I think that comes across in the film. I appreciate the fact that you kind of went the more old school route with this. And it's not CGI heavy. It's, mm -hmm. Was that always kind of the idea? Yeah, because, I, you, know, um, you know, it's not a creature feature. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about that. It's, uh, it's a movie about atmosphere. Um, vibe, mood, and stuff like that, and you create a lot of mood just from your photography, from your sound design, and your production design as well. And uh, and you know, I only bring in CGI when I need to, because uh, they're, they're things that 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 are very difficult to do today. Yeah. But uh, but in the computer world, it's so much better. And and if anything, um, it's a combination of practical effects with um, computer graphic effects, and uh, and that um, I think um, blended seamlessly in telling the story. And for you, I've got to say. I would be terrified to revisit this story. I mean, you deal with this every day. Mm -hmm. what, how do you feel about kind of revisiting? Is it just old hat for you? No. It's never. <laughs> <laughs> no. If, if you're, you're dealing with something that's pretty natural, mm -hmm. it's, it's not every day. No, it, and it is frightening. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember, the inhuman is very, very difficult to deal with. And they're so cunning, you know. And what, but the human spirit, you can communicate, you can talk, you can help. But the inhuman. Wow. Mm. And the doll, you, you still have the doll. It's in an enclosed case in the museum, right? And not my home. But not, I, I, I shouldn't say my home because mm. it's adjacent to my home. It seems like that's so, such a scary idea. You're keeping all this, these artifacts of these horrible things. Well, seems like terrifying. Well, me. let me say about that. Let's th that you you can't throw them away. You can't give them away. And before my husband's death, he would say to me many times, "What are we going to do with all of this?" And was, there's no answer. And so um, about three or four years ago, this Catholic priest from Pennsylvania, um, I had worked with him on Paranormal State series. Yeah. And um, we got to be friends, and he retired, and he came to help after I had been hospitalized for a long time and he was taking care of my pets. And so um, then he said, when you get well, you know, I'll go back. He's never gone back. And it's beautiful because he's, he's always there. You know, he's, I have an apartment, oh. you know, a two-bedroom apartment. And so he, he stays there. And it's wonderful. Oh. It's wonderful, and he, he blesses everything. And I, you know, he'll say to me, um, Lorraine, I'm going to go out in the museum and, and, and bless the doll. And, and I'll say, now, Father, remember, don't, don't do it by saying her name. Don't do it. And but I don't want it. I don't want to give any recognition. Even looking at that picture there gives recognition. <laughs> and, um, but he's wonderful about it. 